Okay, now I want to add depth of field to the camera. So, in camera options sections, turn on depth of field property. Now let's go to frame, say 15, and set the keyframe for aperture property and change its value to um, 750. And now let's go to frame here on frame 40 and change aperture to 10. Okay, convert the second keyframe to easy ease. And in graph editor, make sure you are in edit this with graph mode. And a snap button should be activated. Now drag this handle to the left until you see 75%. Okay, now let's see the result. Maybe it's better to move the second keyframe to to frame 55 so we have this depth of field effect for a longer time okay great but uh, it's not a bad idea to move logo fx keyframes to frame 10 instead of frame 15 as you can see i've shifted all keyframes five frames to the left okay go back to final composition and let's see what we have now okay great Okay, I think it's better to move this reflection layer a little bit to have a better result, so in floor comp let's move this layer and in the same time take a look at the reflection on the left viewer. Let's see it in full screen mode, yes, it's better now. Okay, maybe it's not a bad idea to scale this floor layer a little bit, for example let's test different numbers for scale, and let's move it a little bit, let me see, yes, okay, I think it's better now. Okay, nice result. And also we can update the curves effect a little bit. Yes, it's okay. Awesome. Okay, now I want to add glow effect under our logo. This makes the logo animation more amazing and more professional. Let's create an adjustment layer. Rename it to Glow FX. I don't want to add this glow to all elements in the scene. Instead, I want to add the glow effect only to saturated areas like these lights on this logo and maybe a little bit of reflection effect on the ground so let's add an effect from menu effect channel set channels and now for this set alpha to source instead of using alpha channel let's select saturation channel option in fact we want to get rid of everything that doesn't have a lot of saturation and as you can see our background is transparent now because this effect reveals only those parts of the scene that are affected by set channels effect and hides the rest. Okay, now let's fill this transparent background. So from menu, choose effect, channel, solid composite. Okay, and set the color to black. Okay, now we can add a glow on top of this. So from menu, choose effect, stylize, glow. For this glow, let's decrease glow threshold to, for example, 20. Now let's increase glow radius, okay. If I zoom a little bit, you can see what's going on here, okay. Now hold Ctrl key and decrease glow intensity. Let's set it to, for example, 0.1. Okay, now duplicate this glow effect. Leave threshold on 20%. Increase radius, for example, to 200. And set intensity to 0.25. Okay, again duplicate this glow effect. Let's increase this radius to, for example, 400 and change intensity to 0.5. Three kilo effects usually looks pretty good, okay? Now to see the final result of these effects applied to kilo effects layer, let's change layer mode to add. And there you are, this is the final result with nice glow effect. Let's see before and after glow effects. Okay, nice glow effect, isn't it? Okay, as you can see, these effects are applied to only our logo and not to all the scene elements. Okay, great. If you like, you can decrease the opacity for this glow fix layer. So let's set it to, for example, 75%. Okay, maybe you want to color correct the glow. So we can add a curves effect on top of that. Let's modify this curve a little bit to find the best result. Okay, to see the final impact, change the opacity to 100% again. Okay, as you can see here, we can color correct the glow effect. Okay. And finally, change the opacity to 75% again. Okay, let's see what we have now. Okay, if I turn off and on these glow effects, you can compare the result. Great. As you can see, glow effects have impact only on these bright and saturated areas and not on other parts of the scene. Okay, one thing that I want to do is create a little bit of light here on the ground. So, select this logo FX and duplicate it. Rename it to Logo FX Glow 1. 
Press R key and change X rotation to 90 degrees. Use arrow keys and bring it down near the floor layer. Okay. Now let's add a fast box blur effect. Increase blur radius, for example, set it to 30. I think we need to change the scale value for this layer soon. Okay, now let's make another duplicate and drag it under below 1. Increase blur radius to 60. Create another duplicate, drag it under below 2. And increase blur radius to, for example, 100. Okay, now select these three layers and from mode column choose add. Okay, let's change the opacity, so set it to 20. Okay, I think we should change a scale for below 1. Unlock the uniform scale and decrease Y scale. Okay, change a scale property for glow 2 and glow 3 as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's see a preview now. Okay, great. Okay, now let's drag these glow effects under the logo FX layer. Also, we can parent them to logo FX in parent and link color. Okay, I think we can add a little bit of rotation to this logo to create more dynamic logo animation. For example, let's go to frame 60 and set a keyframe for Y rotation at value 0. Now let's go to frame 0 and change Y rotation to negative 45. Convert the last keyframe to easy ease. And for influence of incoming velocity, enter 75%. Let's see a preview. Okay, let's change it to negative 180 to have more rotation and so more dynamic animation and convert the first keyframe to easy ease as well. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, I love this version. I think we have a better logo animation now. Okay. We can decrease the opacity of this reflection layer. So, select logo FX reflection and decrease it a little bit. For example, set it to 50%. Let's change the scale of these glow layers as well. 20, 35, and for the last layer, 50. Okay, now also change opacity for these layers. For example, set them to 15%. Okay, I think it's better to convert the first keyframe to linear again. By doing this, our logo will rotate a little bit sooner. Okay, it's not a bad idea to move logo FX keyframes to frame 15 again. Now let's see the results. Okay, great. Okay, let's do some modifications to the scene to have better results. So, for color one layer, double click on the mask to activate transformation handles. Hold a spacebar and click and drag to pan on the composition. And now scale it a little bit. Okay, I think it's better now. Don't forget to select all layers and activate motion blur for them and also turn on this motion blur button up here. Maybe it's better to change camera zoom a little bit. For example, let's change it to 900. Okay, now our logo is closer to the camera. Okay. Great, this is the final result. Okay, we have successfully finished our lighting logo reveal animation project. I hope you have enjoyed and learned new tips, tricks and techniques in this course. Here you learned how to create this type of camera animation. But maybe you like to create simple animations for your logo reveals, it's up to you. So go ahead and create different camera animations using all the techniques you learned in this course. Use your creativity and try to create amazing logo animations. Okay, if you'd like to learn how to render this awesome lighting logo reveal animation in After Effects, I highly recommend you to watch the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Have a nice day and bye.